it's Michelle, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I make videos about books. Please hit the subscribe button, it really helps my channel grow. Now if you're not new here, I'm in a different setup and I apologize for the wreck that is this. <laughs> I'm doing something with my library that I don't want to share yet and it's this is just a clear representation of my life. The calendar that you see is Taylor Swift. It's still on June. It's like July 15th. So if you know me, you're probably not surprised. But if you're new here, hello, this is chaos. However, let's get into the video. Today I am doing my reviews, wrap up thing of my five star predictions. I will put that video up here, up here that side and let's get into how I felt about these books. Now I believe I chose five books off of my shelves that for whatever reason I predicted would be five stars and I am here to tell you how it went and then I'm gonna do another five star prediction video because why not? So I'm gonna go in the order of how I read these books and let's get started. The first book that I read was Lessons in Chemistry by somebody, Garmis. Anyway, I DNF'd this about 200 pages in. This is a historical fiction novel in the 60s and it's supposed to be feminist and I didn't think it was. So the premise of this book is that a female chemistry professor, I don't know, um, is treated poorly in the workplace. There is a on-scene sexual assault in like the first 20 pages which just felt really out of place with this and did not enjoy that. There is also a unexpected pregnancy and I can tell you this because it's in the like description of the book so I feel okay telling you this. This did not work for me. This was absolutely not a five star for me. I put this as a five star prediction because my best friend Erica was like, you have to read this book. You're going to love it. Erica loved it. I did not. I did not work for me. I think it was the writing. I think it, I can't even remember the main character's name, but she was trying to be so quirky. Like they named their dog 630. Stupid stuff like that that just like rubbed me the wrong way. Couldn't do it. So that was a DNF not five stars. The next book was Sundial by Katrina Ward. Katriana? Katrina? Lexi, tell me what it is. Ward. This was also a DNF. Mm, yeah, so I was really excited for this one. I am really, really getting into horror. I want to be scared. I want to be scared shitless, basically. And I tried so hard to love this, but I DNF'd it because the writing was absolutely not for me. Lexi really wants me to read The House on Needless Street, but she said the writing is exactly like that and I'm gonna have to pass. The audiobook is on Scribd and I maybe soft enough this. I don't really know if I could do it on audio if I couldn't do it physically. Like, I just don't think my brain understands this writing. So I don't wanna push myself to DNF again. So there, it could be in a video at some point where I try DNFs. Stay tuned. But this is a story from what I can decipher. This woman goes on a road trip with her oldest daughter to like get out of the daughter being like weird. That's probably wrong. It's been a really long time since I attempted it. So I don't know. The next book that I read, it's somewhere. I have it still, but here's a picture of it. The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. This was a five star. Can we believe it? I gave a book absolutely love this. I chose this one to be in my five star predictions video because I had given Simone St. James other books that I had read five stars. And this was another five star. This was Paranormal Haunted House. It's a haunted motel. But I just thought the writing is so clean and like it's scary without like jump scares and stuff. It's just like the setting and the just the writing is just creepy. So if you're looking for that, I absolutely suggest 
Sundown Motel. Okay, it was, I was just, yeah, it's my favorite. So my ranking of the Simone St. James that I have read was definitely the Sundown Motel and then the Broken Girls and then the Book of Cold Cases, but they were all five stars. So like that is just like the vibes that I feel of how the writing is, but like I absolutely love this one. The next five star prediction was The Appeal by Janice Hallett. We, being me, Lexi, and Monica, are the Pyramid Book Club, and we, me, I chose this book for our first read because I needed to read it, and it was part of my five star predictions video, so it all just worked out. I will put two videos up above the announcement for our book club, and then also the discussion for our book club. If you want to check it out, if you've read this book, if you want to be spoiled for this book, here you go. I ended up giving the appeal three and a half stars because this, especially on the front cover, says solve a mystery, solve a murder, solve it. Not to get spoilery, but the murder doesn't happen until 250 pages in of a 400 page book and it just felt misleading I guess. I wanted the murder to happen page one and spend the rest of the next 400 pages solving the murder and that is not what happened. So I felt like I was lied to. This is told in mixed media, mostly emails, and in our book discussion we talked about how there were perhaps too many emails especially ones that didn't really have to do with moving the plot forward. So even though I wanted to love this book so much, it was ultimately just an average read for me. And I need you to know going in if you decide to read this, you don't really solve the mystery until over halfway through the book. So I did not know this, you should know this. And then the last book, I think I, I have this one too, I haven't sold it yet, but this is My Dearest Darkest by Cottingham, Kayla Cottingham. This was another three star read. Look, it's YA sapphic horror, which if you had told me one year ago that it was YA sapphic horror, I would have given it five stars. But a couple things. I'm not really into YA anymore. That's just, I'm growing up, I'm moving away from the genre. So it felt like it wasn't written for me, and it wasn't. The second thing is if I hadn't started reading like adult thriller horror mystery, I probably would have been scared shitless, but I skimmed the last 30 pages because it really wasn't doing anything for me. So I gave this three stars. My biggest gripe <laughs> about this is, you can tell it's a debut, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like it's a strong debut. The author writes that the characters are like stammering their words every single page in this book. The main character, the one main character's name is Finch, and she is a very quiet, like nervous girl. And every sentence that she like said started with I, I, and then just said something like I, I, I'm scared, or we, we need to do this. Like every single page, once I noticed it, I couldn't unnotice it. So it just like, oh. It wasn't my favorite. So this ended up being a three star. I never thought I was going to DNF it. Like it's, it truly wasn't a bad book. It wasn't written for me. I shouldn't have read it. I shouldn't have put it on my five star prediction video because this is no longer the genre that I am leaning towards, but it was okay. If you are looking for YA sapphic horror, I recommend it, you know? It's not, it's not a bad book. So in conclusion, I only got one of these right. <laughs> I DNF two, I gave two three stars, and I gave one five stars. So like, what this is telling me is I don't really know myself, which is fine. I'm growing, I'm always changing, that is normal, but I'm absolutely going to do this again. 
So be on the lookout for another five star predictions video because I absolutely thought this was fun. Up in the cards, I'm going to try to put like where in my weekly reading vlogs these videos, sh I mean, <laughs> these books showed up if I can remember because it's been a while. I think my five star prediction video came out two months ago. So like it took me two months to read five books, but like I was reading other things. You know how it goes. But thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.